In this lesson, we're going to look at trigonometry. Now, trigonometry in Intermediate 2 involves non-right angle triangles. The examples I've got here on this slide are taken from the formula sheet. They will be given, you don't need to learn them. So at the top we have the sine rule. Next we have the cosine rule to work out the size of a side. Underneath that we have the cosine rule to work out the size of an angle. And right at the bottom we have the formula for the area of a triangle. Now in non-right angle triangles, we have to label the triangles correctly. You use capital letters for the angles and small letters for the sides. The sides can be found diagonally opposite the angles. So small a is opposite big A, small b is diagonally opposite big B, and small c is diagonally opposite capital C there in the corner. The first thing we're going to look at is the area of a triangle. So in order to use the area of a triangle formula, you need to have the information in the correct place. So the information that we need to work out the area of a triangle is two sides and the angle in between these two sides. When we have the information like that, we can just substitute the values into the formula and use it. So in the second triangle here, we'd need this side, that side and the angle in the middle. And this third one here, we'd need this side and this side and the angle in the middle. So we need a number here, a number here and an angle here. And in the last one, we'd require this side and this side and angle in the middle. It's also important to be able to rearrange the formula to use the letters that are on your triangle. The formula in the formula sheet always uses A, B's and C's. But in the questions that we see in the exam papers or books, don't always use A, B's and C's. So the first example here uses P, Q's and R's. Now the easiest thing to notice is that the angle part is at the end. So you always do the sign of the angle part. In this case, it's Q, the angle's at Q. So it would be sine Q at the end. You need the two sides surrounding that angle, so we need the side of P and R, so they would go at the start. It doesn't matter which way around the P and R go, but normally it's alphabetical. Now, all these things are multiplied together to get the area of this triangle. So it's a half times P times R times sine of Q. In the second example, the angle's at the letter L. So it would be sine L at the end, and the two surrounding sides are N and M. They would create that kind of V-shape. Down below, the angle is at D, so it would be sine of D, and the two surrounding sides are E and F. So it would be a half EF sine D. And finally, the angle is at Z, so it would be sine of Z, and the two surrounding sides are x and y. There's your formula. OK, so let's have a look at what that would look like when you have numbers to deal with. So the first thing to do in this calculation is look at the formula sheet and change the formula to the letters that we are dealing with here. Now we've got q, so it would be sine of q at the end because q is the angle. There we are. And the surrounding sides are P and R. So it's a half P R sine Q. Now there are a number of ways of putting a half into your calculator. You can do 0 0.5 times. I usually do 1 divided by 2. Just type that into your calculator with this. Times by P, which is 6. Times by R, which is 8. And just times sine 105. If you type all that into your calculator, you'll get the correct answer. I've just rounded it to three significant figures. In this example, we don't exactly have all the information that's required. Calculate the area of triangle EFD. So we've got the 4 and the 5 here, which are the surrounding sides, but we're missing this angle in the middle. So to calculate the angle in the middle, you have to Add the 34 and the 23 and subtract from 180. 
And if you do that, you'll get your answer. So 34 and 23 make 57. If you do 180, take away 57, you get 123. So that would be the answer to that angle there. That would be uh, 123 degrees. So we want to get the formula with the correct letters. So it would be E at the end, so sine E at the end. And then you put your other surrounding letters, which would be D and F. And then you would just use the formula as before. 1 divided by 2. D is 4. F is 5. And then times sine 123. And the answer is 8.39 centimetres squared.